Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got a special one for you guys today. As you can see, we have two big boxes here on the table. This is the new XM Studios Ghost Rider on Horse. What we have here is an actual production piece. It's not a prototype. So if you're getting this, what you see here is what you're gonna get. So something new I thought I'd try is to split up the video a little bit so it's not so long. So on today's video, I'm gonna be doing the unboxing and the assembly of this thing. And then on a future video, I will do the actual review. Okay, so without further ado, let's get these boxes open. All right guys, here we have it, the first box. So nice to actually have a production piece, not a prototype that isn't fully engineered. I even have the art print here to show you guys. Let's take a look. Here it is, we got Ghost Rider on horse. Uh, he's wearing the robe in this one, as you'll see. Uh, there are two different options, one with a more cowboy look, and then another one with the robe. We only get one. It might've been nice to have a second one with the cowboy, but hey, what can you do? And then we have the contents, which I'm about to show you guys. Here is a link to the assembly video, uh, but again, I'm gonna assemble it right here. So you can watch my version, or the one on the XM channel, or both if you want. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this box. Again, we got two big boxes. I'm not really sure which one this is, if it has the base. I think the other one is heavier. So let's see what we have in this one. Let's check it out. Don't mind the little Optimus Prime box. They just sent uh, this along with some other replacement parts that I needed for some other statues. Okay, and let's get this unwrapped. All right, guys, and here's everything we get in that first box. Of course, we have our massive horse. This thing is huge. We've got uh, parts of the cloak here. Some holes in there reminds me of the Lady Death, how it's all torn up, very nicely done. I loved it on that one. It looks great on this one as well. We've got another piece right here. Uh, it's not all one color. There are subtle tone changes in there to kind of give it some depth. Here we have our flaming head portrait. Look at that. Got the hollowed out eyes. We got flames coming out of the eye socket. It almost looks like it's glowing. The nice flames up there coming off the skull. Then we have the back of the cloak here. Very cool looking portrait. Here we have his right hand holding on to these spiked chains. Really nice job on that bone. We got the rust on the chains. This one has a little flame on the end. This one has the spiked ball. The little spikes here, they are made of a flexible material. We have a second ball right here. This one actually comes with a real chain that's in a bag. I'll leave that in the bag for now and we'll take that out when we assemble this thing. We've got a gun in a holster, nice leather holster, intricate details there on the gun and the handle. I'm not really sure what these are. I believe these are the stirrups. And then finally, we have our horse. Oh man, this thing is heavy. All right, so there's a look. His legs come attached, and then we have this really burnt up, toasty, crispy looking horse with a plastic wrap on his face. But look at those flaming red eyes the fiery mane. We can see all the strands of muscle as all the skin has been burnt off this thing. And here we have box number two. Believe it or not, this one is heavier than the first one. That must mean we have a very heavy base. This right here is just a replacement piece uh, that they shipped along with this piece. So uh, it's not part of this statue. Ooh. And here's what you get in box number two. So I didn't even attempt to take that thing out of the plastic because that thing is heavy and I only want to do it once. Start off here with this cowboy portrait. It's got the cowboy hat. As you can see, the brim is pretty low on his head, right around where his eyes are. We do get a good look at the bones in his mouth and his teeth. And then of course, we've got the flames coming off the back. Little orange reflection. Here is the body that goes with that portrait. I really like this option. We got the flames coming off the arms, little bandana around the neck. Then I think uh, that's probably like a little vest inside. Very cool and all sculpted. We've got some nice details here on the back. Again, just like the cloak, it's kind of got these frayed edges. Give it a very old and worn look. Here is the other torso. 
Very uh, Grim Reaper-ish with these bones coming out. Big flowing cloak. This is what nightmares are made of. We've got a couple gloved hands. One of them is open. The other one I think is holding a chain. And these are to use with that cowboy option. We've got another nice flame here. I think this is the horse's tail. A couple smaller flames. We have our extra torso stand. Gives us a way to display the unused torso and portrait. That way, nothing goes to waste. And then here it is on the bottom. We've got Ghost Rider Horseback Edition, quarter scale. Now it is time to attempt to lift this base out of the box. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Here's a quick look. As you can see, we have that same sub base on this one. A lot of this metal decor. We've got a bunch of rocks, some kind of animal skull. So there's a quick look at the base. Let's go ahead and get this thing assembled. Let's get the base on the turntable. Oh. All right, it doesn't quite fit. The turntable is 24 inches. The base is a little bit wider. I guess we're starting off with the horse. This massive beast right here. Oh man, this thing is heavy. The base won't kill you, the horse will. I'm gonna get the peg in on the front leg. There's a key on the back. There we go, pretty solid. So for the stirrups, you have to connect these pieces like this, put it on his shoe and then that just magnetizes up here. Same thing on this side. I think we need the tail next. That one just goes where the tail should go. So we're gonna go with the uh, cloaked version first. I believe this is the Caleb version. And we're gonna line up the peg. It's just gonna fit on like that. All right, we'll move this one out of the way. Two big cloak pieces. We're gonna start off with this one. Goes down here. And then this one goes up here. Just like that. We're gonna grab our flaming skull. Pop it on right there. I believe he is holding the chain. So in the video, they use some kind of pliers to get this through his hand. And I'll tell you now, that would help a lot. Uh, but I don't have pliers with me. I'm gonna try and use this little Lego. If this hand could come out, we could easily just turn the hand upside down, but uh, it's fixed in place. So I'm gonna stick the rod in through his hand, loop it through the chain, and then bring it through just like that. All right, so there you go. Lego saves the day. Now we need to add his hand, the hand that's holding uh, the spike chain. This part of the chain just goes into the air and the other side, I believe, he's into the tail, kind of tying it all together. And then we have another part of the chain. This one has the flame at the end. And that one's going to key into the bottom of the tail. So it actually looks like the chain is going through the tail. We've got the ball connecting to the other side of that flame. And I believe it just kind of goes by his arm right here. Looks like this guy is pretty much finished. Now we can put this guy together on our proximity base. Just gonna fit in just like that. Let's give him his head. Let's give him the gun. We have two different hands to choose from. Uh, this one is going to be holding this chain. So let's give him the open one here. And then uh, these two pieces actually key into the tail. Once we remove this chain, we need something to cover up those holes. Okay guys, so that was the unboxing and assembly of XM's new Ghost Rider on horseback. Stay tuned for the full review. That should be coming up shortly. But in the meantime, here is a look all the way around Ghost Rider.